Hi everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. I set up a breeding enclosure for my blue death feigning beetles a while back, and I have some great news. These are blue death feigning beetle larvae. I pulled a few out of the enclosure. I'm sure there are quite a few more. I just took a few minutes to dig around, and you can see that they're of a couple of different sizes here. Now, I should stress that though this is a great step towards success, that producing larvae is not the difficult part in breeding blue death feigning beetles. The difficulty arises when the larvae need to pupate. They have specific requirements of humidity and temperature, as well as being separated from other larvae. So I'll be working on that once these get to an appreciable size. They need to get to approximately two inches, and then they're ready to start pupating. But uh, this is definitely a good step. If this is your first introduction to blue death feigning beetles, you might be wondering what all the fuss is about. So I'd encourage you to check out some of my other videos on this topic. I've got a couple here that you can check out and I'll put links in the description both to some videos and to some items that you may need if you're interested in setting up your own blue death feigning beetle enclosures. They're fascinating beetles, very long lived, very hardy, which is one of the reasons why I want to work on uh, captive breeding them. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to rate, share, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.